What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you for coming back and joining me on another video right here on YouTube. So recently I've been downloading some of the weird and wonderful tactics that are out there for Football Manager 23 and putting them through single season sims to see just how good they can be. Today I've got another tactic that I'm going to be testing and it's going to be a full power tactic testing and that means that we're going to use Manchester City, Paris Saint-Germain and Real Madrid to see just how good these tactics can be when they're in the hands of the Giants. As always, we are going to go through the tactics, show you the positions, the in possession, the out of possession, and the in transition, and then we're going to break down those all important results. We're already on Manchester City, so let's jump across to their tactics tab and show you that this tactic is called Toy Figure V2. Now it's another one of those similar shapes. There seems to be a lot of them for FM23. It's a 4 2 2 2 or a 4 4 2, depending on how you want to look at the tactic. With those uh, wingers and the advanced forwards it looks like it's a very attacking tactic so let's start breaking some of these positions down then at the back you're going to have a sweeper keeper who is on defend on the left you've got a wing back who's on attack you have got two ball playing defenders in the middle and on the right hand side you have a wing back on attack you have two Segundo Volantes in the middle of the park, both looking like this. On the left, you have an inverted winger who looks like this. And on the right, you have one who looks like this. And at the top of the pitch, you have two advanced forwards that look like this. So yeah, it's basically a 4-4-2 come 4-2-4 or a 4-2-2-2, depending on how you want to look at it. Uh, as I said, it's called Toy Figure V2. It has a custom control possession in terms of its tactical style and its mentality is attacking. It's in possession, looks like this. It's in transition, looks like this. And it's out of possession, looks like this. So it looks like it's all set up to be a really good tactic in the hands of the Giants. So let's jump across the competitions tab and show you how Manchester City have got on. So straight away you can see they have won the Premier League. They have done it in some style, beating Liverpool by 11 points. They have finished runners-up in the Champions League. They have won the FA Cup, finished runner-up in the Carabao Cup and won the Community Shield. Starting in the bottom right-hand corner, you can see they beat Liverpool 3-1 in the Curtain Razor. In the Carabao Cup, they got all the way to the final. They lost to Everton, surprisingly, 3-1 in the final of that. They also got to the FA Cup final, and they beat Chelsea 4-1 in that. In the Champions League, they got to the final there too, and suffered an embarrassing 7-1 defeat to Liverpool in a complete outlier across the entire season. I did not see any other result that looked like that in the entire sim. Um, breaking out of the Premier League, though, Let's go in and have a little look at the stages tab. So we can see that Manchester City had played 38 games. They won 31 of them. They drew two. They lost five. They scored 126 goals. Conceded 34. Had a goal difference of 92. And finished on 95 points. As I said, finishing 11 points ahead of Liverpool and Further clear of Manchester United, Arsenal. And once again, a shout out to Aston Villa getting in fifth with 63 points. Uh, if we go to the profile page then, we can see Erling Haaland bagged himself 42 goals. He had an 8.17 average rating. He had 7.42 for Bernardo Silva. Bernardo himself getting 14 assists. Haaland getting 14 assists. And Gomez getting 12 assists. Haaland got 16 player of the match awards. Gomez got 12 yellow cards and there is nothing down at the bottom here. So all in, a fantastic way to start off the tactic test. We have Manchester City winning the Premier League, winning the FA Cup and winning the Community Shield. They've also been to every final that they could make, winning two and losing two. So if we jump across to PSG, we can see that they have also won the league with an impressive 108 points. That is one of the highest totals I think I've seen in a while. If we go to the competitions tab, we can see that they have had an invincible season. Absolutely fantastic from PSG. Now, I know that it's a farmer's league. Everybody can tell me they should do that. They, But not every tactic has PSG going absolutely 
perfect through the season. Only drawing three games and winning 35 is impressive. In the Champions League, though, they were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Napoli. They did win the Coupe de France and also won the Trophée des Champions. So if we start with that, they beat Nantes 2-1 in the Trophée des Champions. In the Coupe de France, they beat Nantes 7-1 in a cup final. And that's weird, isn't it? two domestic cup finals both having a 7-1 scoreline i wonder what the odds on that happening are in the champions league they got knocked out in the quarterfinals by napoli so let's break down league un uber eats if we go to the stages page we can see they have played 38 games winning an impressive 35 only drawing three times and going the entire season with no games lost they scored 143 goals only conceding 27 Gives them a goal difference of 116 and 108 points. They have won their league by 28 points. That is absolutely insane. Leon down here on 71 are just in a different league altogether. It's absolutely crazy. If we go to the profile page then. Mbappe getting himself 43 goals, Neymar 31, Mbappe 8.06 rating, 7.76 for Neymar, 7.53 for Messi, 7.51 for Hakimi, uh, Neymar got 17 assists, Mbappe 15, Mbappe got 14 player of the match awards, Donnarumma got 15, Mendes with 13 yellow cards, and Zaire Emery coming in down here with 14.98 kilometres covered per 90 minutes. What an absolutely fantastic season PSG have had. That is one of the first invincible seasons I think I've seen on FM23. I've done quite a lot of these tactic tests. PSG often lose just the one game. So to see somebody go through the entire season undefeated really is something. So we've seen the first two teams. Let's jump over to Real Madrid and see how they have got on. They also are Centurions, amassing 100 points. If we break that down further, we can see that they won the league by four points from Barcelona. In the Champions League, they were knocked out by Manchester City. They won the UEFA Super Cup. They were knocked out in the fourth round by Cordoba in the Copa del Rey. And in the Super Copa de España, they went on to win that. So looking at that first, they beat Valencia 4-0 in the Super Copa. They were knocked out in the fourth round there. In the Super Cup, they beat Frankfurt 3-0. In the Champions League, knocked out by Manchester City. So let's break down La Liga Santander. If we go to the stages, we can see that they have played 38 games. They have won 33. They drew one, lost four, scored 140 goals, conceded 45, had a goal difference of 95 and had 100 points, giving them the league title by four points from Barcelona and finishing absolutely miles clear, 28 points clear ahead of Atletico in third. So if we go to the profile page, let's have a little look. Benzema got himself 39 goals, Mariano 26, Benzema 7.85 average rating, Mariano 7.55, Vinny Jr 7.48. Vinny Jr with 14 assists, Benzema with 13, Benzema got 12, Carvajal 13 yellow cards, Nacho 11 yellow cards, and down here we have Odriozola? Odriozola. Yes. Odriozola with 14.9 kilometres covered per 90 minutes. So, all in all, an absolutely fantastic tactic test. There is winners absolutely everywhere. Every league was won. We had every team winning multiple competitions. We had Manchester City getting to all finals. PSG going as invincibles. What an absolutely fantastic variation of this popular 424 or 442, depending on how you want to look at it. This is a fantastic tactic. Right, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a very big thank you for being here still. Secondly, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button, please consider doing so. It's helped so much across the past couple of weeks and months seeing the channel grow, and it's all down to you for helping out, whether it be a like, a comment, or hitting the subscribe button. I can't thank you all enough. Before you go, though, don't forget there are other tactic videos on the channel. There is also Let's Plays, there are Rebuilds, Wonder Kids, tips hints there's a little something for everybody on the channel but for this one i'm going to leave it there a big thank you for watching i'll see you on another video soon